Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to see how to derive the compound interest formula. Compound interest is nothing but an interest on both the principal and the accumulated interest from the previous periods of the deposit or the loan. The compound interest formula is P into 1 plus R the whole power T minus P. P is nothing but the initial principal and R is the rate of interest and T is time period in years. And always remember that to convert the rate of interest to a decimal. So let's see for year 1. As we know, interest is principal into rate of interest into time. Since the time is one year, so it's basically principal into rate of interest into one. So it's basically principal into rate of interest. An amount is principal plus interest. The principal is P plus the interest. So, principal into rate of interest is PR. So, it's P plus PR. Here, the common variable is P. So, we write P and next it's 1 plus R. So, it's P into 1 plus R. So, we have rewritten this term to P into 1 plus R. P into 1 is P and next is plus and P into R is PR. P into 1 plus R is the new principle for the second year because it includes the principle and the accumulated interest. So now let's see for the second year. The interest formula is P into R. So P is nothing but the Total amount at the end of year 1 which is P into 1 plus R and P into 1 plus R is the new principle for the second year because it includes the principle and the accumulated interest. So P is P into 1 plus R so into R here so into R. So the interest is P into 1 plus R into R. The new principle is P into 1 plus R and the rate of interest is R and the second year interest is nothing but P into 1 plus R into R. We just calculated here. So, amount is new principle plus interest. New principle is written in blue which is P into 1 plus R plus the interest which is P into 1 plus R into R. Here we calculated the interest. So what is common what is the common term here? The common term here is P into 1 plus R. So we take out the P into 1 plus R and open a bracket. So P into 1 plus R into 1 is P into 1 plus R and we bring down this plus sign and next we do P into 1 plus R into R. So we write R and close the bracket. This can be rewritten as P into 1 plus R the whole power 2. For year 1, it is P into 1 plus R the whole power 1. And for the second year, it is P into 1 plus R the whole power 2. Let's see if the pattern continues for the third year also. And also remember that P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2, is nothing but the new principle for the third year. Now let's see for the third year. So it's interest equal to principle into rate of interest. The principle changes every year while calculating compound interest as it includes both principal and the accumulated interest from the previous period while the rate of interest remains the same. 
The principal is nothing but the second year's total amount, which is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into R. The third year's principal is nothing but P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2. The rate of interest is R and the third year's interest is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into R. The amount is new principal plus the interest. So, the new principal is written in brown here, which is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2. And plus the interest. The interest is written here, which is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into R. What is common here? P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 is common here. So, we take it out and open a bracket. Then P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into 1. And next we put this plus sign. And next P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into R. And then we close the bracket. P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 plus P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into R can be rewritten as P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2 into 1 plus R. We can further simplify this by writing it as P into 1 plus R, the whole power 3. Now let's summarize what we have learned. So let's see the compound interest amount formula. So, for the first year, the principal is the initial principal. And the amount is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 1. For the first year, it was P into 1 plus R, 1 plus R, the whole power 1. And now for the second year, the principal is the amount at the end of year 1, which is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 1. And the amount for the second year is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2, because it's the second year or year 2. And the same for the third year. The principal is the second year's amount, which is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2. And the amount for the third year is P into 1 plus R, the whole power 3, because it's year 3. So, the compound interest amount formula for year 1, it's P into 1 plus R, the whole power 1. For year 2, it's P into 1 plus R, the whole power 2. Two, and for year 3, it's P into 1 plus R, the whole power 3. So, if it's for the nth year, n is nothing but the number of years. And n can be 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, it's if the component is amount formula is for the nth year, the formula is P into 1 plus R, the whole power n. So, what is the... Compound interest formula. Amount is nothing but the principal plus the interest. So the compound interest formula is compound interest amount formula minus P. So it's P into 1 plus R the whole power N minus P which will be the compound interest formula. Thanks for watching.